Welcome to another Super Deluxe Edition unboxing video. Today we're going to take a look at the reissue of Haircut 100's Pelican West album from 1982. So the album's been reissued in three physical formats. There's a four CD Deluxe Edition, which I'm holding in my hands. There's a four LP vinyl box set, and then there's a single half speed mastered vinyl edition as well. So you probably can't tell from just looking at it here, but this is actually a seven inch by seven inch uh, CD deluxe edition. So I actually quite like this. You don't see that many CD sets done in this way. So a seven inch book pack. The Japanese quite like the seven inch format for deluxe CD reissues, but they're not that common. But I quite like this. So it's um, sort of book, case bound book style and the other thing that's quite good is the discs don't, they don't slot into the side here. They're, um, they're sort of hanging in these folio sort of leaves here. So, so it slides in and out quite nicely. So anyone worried about, you know, scratched discs or anything, I think it's less likely to happen with that kind of uh, packaging. So there's two CDs like this at the front and then at the back, that's CDs three and four at the back. It's all very much done in the style of the original album. But what you get in the middle is, is a story of the band and the album as told by the band members. So uh, this is in conversation with Daryl Easley. He's curated this and helped put it together. So he's talked to the band and she's got a really good commentary uh, on sort of the rise and fall of Haircut 100. So it starts in 77 to 79 and all the different members contribute there thoughts to what was going on it's, it's actually a really enjoyable and informative read and then mixed in with that you've got kind of photos and memorabilia and press cuttings from the period this goes up right to the end there's some really good photos here there's some great photos of um when they were recording at uh the manor and uh they all had their flashy sports cars they'd bought with their with their newly found pop star wealth <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, yes, yeah, so this is really nicely done. So, so in terms of what's in this box set, so the first CD is the album itself with a few bonus tracks at the end. Um, I mean, the album actually ends with Calling Captain Autumn. So there's a couple of tracks there added on. Uh, the second disc gathers together all the various remixes, edits. I mean, it's actually mainly remixes. There is a seven inch version of Boat Party there kick things off ski club but but it's plenty of 12 inch mixes love plus one favorite shirts fantastic day calling captain autumn boat party marine boy 12 inch version i mean there's loads of um extended versions there's a live version of fantastic day there another remix of calling captain autumn um yeah so it's like remix tastic this particular disc in total there's 15 there and then perhaps the disc most of interest is unfinished tracks. This is this is work in progress for the second album, which never happened. So you get things like um, guide vocal versions of Haley's Heart, uh, Blue Hat for a Blue Day, which obviously ended up on Nick Hayward's solo album. There's 11 tracks on here, Whistle Down the Wind. So there's 11 tracks on this particular CD. And then the fourth and final CD, which is exclusive to the CD version, is Haircut 100 Live at Hammersmith Odeon, Spring 1982. So there's a sort of 14-track gig there. So that's kind of the end of this particular set. So as I say, there's the spine. It's, it's a really nice package. I mean, I, I guess the only problem is there's not that many box sets that come like this, so... You'll have to find where you're going to put this on your shelf. But yeah, I think that's really nicely done. I'm very impressed. So hopefully Demon will do some more. Demon Music will do some more like this and you can start to kind of collect them. We will see. But the good thing is there is, if you're into your vinyl, there's a big vinyl version of this box set as well. So this is a 4LP vinyl version. It's, it's quite nicely done this. So this is a, I won't call it a slip case because... I know from doing my Blu-rays that this is actually in what they call an O-card or a slip tube, they sometimes call them. You see a slip case has three 
sides closed off and then you just slip it in but this is a kind of top down job so it's actually an O card technically speaking but it's got a nice glossy finish and that tells us what's going on in this box there so we might as well cover it now so the first lp is the album itself 12 track album you do get the half speed mastered version which is available separately we'll look at that in a minute but that's worth pointing out you are getting the half speed master then there's two records which cover cd2 from the cd box so pelican west pelican plus part one on the first record and Pelican West Pelican Plus part two on the second and then the fourth and final LP are those unfinished tracks and you do get all of them so that's the same as what's on that CD but let's have a look at the actual vinyl pack itself so yeah I quite like how this is packaged there's the spine so if I put this down for a second so it's kind of done in a sort of book kind of photo album type style so there's the first records so this is the album itself half speed master and it's in a printed inner sleeve and everything's black vinyl in fact the half speed master is black vinyl on the other edition as well no colored vinyl curiously for this particular campaign but yes this this first kind of a couple of panels covers off photos of band members and lyrics and then, so as we turn the sort of page, you get the second record here, which is Pelican West, Pelican Plus Part 1. So this is uh, the start of the 12-inch versions. And then in these kind of inner sleeve panels, you do get the history of the band. Same as in the CD, CD version, it's slightly edited, so you don't get it. It's not quite as big as it was before so it starts at 1980 instead of 77 to 79 and there are various edits just to sort of make it fit so if you want the full version you have to get the cd so this is obviously the second part of the uh, 12 inch discs i mean i have to say it, it looks visually it looks so good i love all the original design the colors so great job there and then yeah this this kind of finishes off the end of the story it goes up to the end of 1983 and then the fourth and final album are those unfinished tracks nice group photo at the back credits and yeah so that slides back into that O card we were talking about it's quite weighty you know but yeah I mean if you like vinyl and you don't want to buy CDs then this is the one to go for now of course if you don't want a big vinyl box set you don't want all the bonus tracks you might just want a nice version of the album remastered so this is the half speed master as a standalone single vinyl LP it's the same record as in the four LP box set it is presented differently though you get an OB strip, which is quite nice, done in the style of. I mean, this is a bit like the Universal ones, except it's in conjunction with Air Mastering and Demon, rather than Universal and Abbey Road. But OB strips are a nice touch, even if they're kind of annoying in terms of what you do with them afterwards. But yeah, so same same 12 track album, Half Speed Mastered. Uh, there is a slight difference with this one. You get. You don't get a printed inner sleeve, you get a poly line sleeve. And the um, labels are different on this one as well. But you, still, you do get this insert, so it's actually a little booklet. So you don't kind of miss out on this aspect of it. It doesn't have the band commentary and the interviews. But you do get this four page insert as well. I mean printed in is a good but that you can't beat a nice polyline sleeve. So that's quite nicely done actually I, I quite like that. So that's the standalone half speed mastered vinyl. So I hope you've enjoyed this brief look at the three physical editions of the Pelican West reissue Haircut 100. If you have why not subscribe to the Super Deluxe Edition YouTube channel for more great physical music unboxed. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time.